Good afternoon. We are on the road with Friday Night Business Ventures and this morning we did some filming out at the Amelia Farms and we were stringing pipe and joining me is Dale Amelia and it was very warm out there this morning, wasn't it? Yes, it was. We chose the hottest day of the year so far and uh, it was uh, quite miserable for the boys for a while, but we got down at 1130, quarter to 12, so it was a little bit better. So. We had lots of moisture this spring and summer, and the corn is growing pretty rapidly. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be stressful, the, the corn is, with all this heat. Everybody's just preparing to be ready to irrigate. Right. There's plenty of moisture, just the idea that a lot of fields it takes maybe two, two and a half to weeks to get over, especially with gravity, and so it's better to get a good start. Um, when we were stringing pipe this morning, the fields were really black down inside, you know, but, uh, and the humidity was 68 this morning when we were stringing pipe, so it was quite hot. That makes a lot of difference, but like I said, the pipe has to be strung, so we got after it, and a lot of other people are too, and it's, it's that time of the year. It's, it's a little later than normal. A lot of times we do it in June. You know, a lot of times we have it done by 4th of July, but this year things were planted later, and so it's a little bit different year. We heard the other night at the RCND meeting that the corn is tasseling in the southern part of the state. You're mm -hmm. just prepared if uh, it sets in, no moisture, you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. You said there is like a silking process with uh, the mm -hmm. corn stalk itself. Right now our early planted corn is starting to tassel and shoot some silks. When we string and pipe this morning, we were out there on the, our first planting. And they were coming out, and in four or five days they're going to be coming up, and there's going to be tasseling, and things are going to roll. The tassels are just sticking through the chutes, and uh, the silks are too. They're just up two or three inches, so that's time to get on, and we want to stay ahead of the game um, right now. So. so so we did some filming this morning, and everyone will be able to uh, see that uh, coverage that we did following this uh, interview. Tell us a little bit about what the people are, can expect to see with the video. Okay. okay. We started off, basically, we just started with the boys loading the pipe. We was kind of in the shade there under a tree, even though it was a little warm. But we started loading the pipe, and as the pipe is loaded, the boys check to make sure there isn't a broken gate. A lot of times we like to repair them before we get going. We try to check gaskets, but a lot of times you can't tell some of the gaskets are bad until you start to put them together, then they'll roll and you need to change them, but stuff like that. But we got them loaded and then we took off. And uh, then uh, as we went down to uh, string the pipe, you'll see in a kind of a second video on there, um, as the boys go along, the one closest to the camera, he basically lifts up the pipe and makes sure that the next one is in a straight angle. So when it comes into the pipe, it doesn't roll your gaskets. If you roll your gaskets, you're gonna waste water. And another reason we change gates, because if you have leaky gates, dripping gates on a well, <clears throat> excuse me, especially on a well, you're going to lose a lot of water. And you want to conserve all the water you can because you don't want to just pump water down the same old row all summer. And so we do things like that. But you'll see the boys. And then in the film, you'll see them. They uh, change some gates. We've got some good pictures of that. And then there's some inline shutoffs, some elbows, and stuff like that. Most of the pipe we use and that we have is our, on our farms is we like TexFlow. It's got a little bit different joint and you can probably get about a 15 degree turn out of the pipe so you don't need so many elbows. And if you have a long sloping curve, you actually can get clear around it okay. without having any elbows in it. And we've always liked that. And then the gates are a little, I don't know, we feel they're just a little nicer to work with and stuff. So. And in the film, you're driving the pickup. So we've got the young guys back behind and <laughs> hooking everything up, right? Yes. Uh, that's one thing about getting old. They <laughs> let you drive the pickup. <laughs> and it works pretty good. We have, with the four-wheel drive and low lock, you can put it in a uh, four low lock. It's just about the right speed for the guys. Okay. And the two young fellows are helping us. Uh, they kept up. But if you notice in the film later on, they're, they're pretty sweaty. They got pretty, pretty hot by the time. 11 o'clock, it really was a cooker and then we still did one more little field and they were really sweaty. Uh, the film we have, we still did one more field. So even though they were sweaty, 
they did it. But they carried towels with them and plenty of water, Gatorade, and supplies. So they would stop every once in a while and wipe off. The towels were nice. You can dampen them and wipe them down. And then, and we're, we didn't get in any hurry. Uh, I'm, where I'm old, I don't, I'm not in any hurry to get it done. <laughs> so it works out good. What, was it, what do you anticipate the corn? Is it going to, with the season that we have left, do you think it's going to make good ear on it for by fall? Or oh, what yeah. do you... I still think it will. Some of the, there's a lot of late planted corn, or like I say, our early planted corn looks really good. But some of the later in the middle there, um, it's uneven because we had so much rain and then in place it flooded and place it washed out. So those will be different. And then some of the corn that was planted late actually looks about as uniform as anything we have. It's even, it's a nice stand, but it's later. So okay. it'll just be different. But I'll, I know the yields probably won't be there for your fields that got flooded out. There's some where water stood. We had to replant a few spots. but uh, And then there's some that we didn't get replanted or didn't get planted. We're still planting like sedan in a few fields and yeah. that we couldn't get to, mostly river bottom. Well, it's irrigation season, it looks like, where you got the pipe hooked up today, and, and it's hot outside, so it's it's good for corn growing. That's uh, it, that's the only thing I can think it's good for today. I, I always this. say the humidity is hard on old people, but good for the corn, so that's what we look at. And it is. The humidity is good. It's, last night, the low was only 74. It's nicer to get down a little cooler, so let the corn cool down. But it's going to cool down this weekend. It'll be pretty nice, I think. So, but. I think we'll have a, in some places we'll have good yield, some will have an average, and then of course we didn't have any corn planted, we won't have any yield there, so it'll, it'll work out though, so. Okay. Well, thank you for the opportunity to show the, how the, what, how the process works of getting the pipe hooked up, and okay. people are going to be driving the roads uh, between here and uh, Burwell and Ord, and, and see the pipes already laid out, and, and probably be thinking to themselves, Wow, don't we have enough moisture? But yeah. yes, with the, these heat conditions, it doesn't take long to, to dry that surface soil. And string and pipe today, we saw a lot of tractors with uh, shredders on them, maybe a disc, they're disc in the ends, or a sprayer, they're spraying the ends. So mm -hmm. as you drive around, watch for the slow moving vehicles, because we got a lot of semis on the road today, or every day almost. So mm -hmm. just be cautious and be safe and have a good summer. So Okay, well, we'll uh, catch up with you again when there's something else going on, maybe some hay in or, and we'll see what's uh, going on in the next maybe week or two and, and we'll do some filming a little later. So everyone enjoy the coverage that was done this morning and uh, just enjoy following along with the guys while they're hooking up the pipe and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, Dale. Thank you very much. Have a good day.